Okay guys, so in the last video you should have determined the direction of the magnetic field from the magnet. So what we're going to do now is test and verify Lenz's law. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your high gain sensor and you'll be seeing peaks both in the positive and negative direction. And from that we can tell what the direction of the induced current is. So you're going to take your magnet and you'll know which side is pointing down, either the north or the south ends of the magnet. You're going to take your magnet and you're going to go right down in the middle of the loop. You really want to make sure you're accelerating down so that you can see it. So I'm going to press record now and you'll see what happens. So again, you're going to accelerate and now you can see that there was a peak uh, in the positive direction. So after we accelerate downward, we're going to accelerate in the upward direction. So you can see when we accelerate upwards, you can see a peak going in the negative direction instead of the positive direction. So again, we had the positive peak when we accelerated downward, and we had the negative peak when we accelerated upward. So from here, what we will note is that when you have a positive peak, this is going to be a magnetic field in the positive Z direction. So from there, if you use the right hand rule and you, um, my thumb is going to be pointed in the positive Z direction, you can figure out from curling your fingers what the direction of the current is going to be. So you can do that for both the positive peak and the negative peak. Once you do this with one orientation of the magnet, then you're going to flip the side of the magnet, do the same thing, accelerating down, accelerating up. Then what you're going to do is you're going to flip the IO lab and do the same thing with both sides of the magnet, down and up. And that should be uh, all of your data for this part of the experiment.